Okay, we have here a default install. Uh, it's a minimal install of CentOS 7. And uh, we're going to go ahead and run through a quick install of Anvil and all the necessary modules and uh, requirements. I'm going to show you a little trick here. And that is uh, that we have this website here called CentOSP.com. And when you go there, it's basically just going to show a simple command here that we can go ahead and type uh, onto a uh, CentOS uh, ba you know, base install and uh, it will it will give us a menu and take care of uh, installing basically everything for us to get Anvil, uh, Snort, um, Nmap, and all of these things running, including PHP and, and Apache. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and type this uh, command here and uh, get it going. OSP.com, and that's install slash install dot sh. And this script is going to go ahead and check the operating system, kind of make sure that it's a compatible version of CentOS. And if it does, and everything checks out, uh, we're displayed with a menu. Let's go ahead and start with uh, option number one, which is basic uh, the basic tools here to, to get these on the machine. It'll reach out and download all the correct packages and install these. And when each of these are done, they'll, uh, they'll give us a little prompt. Um, and then return us back to uh, the menu. We're going to go ahead and fast forward through the downloading and compiling uh, to shorten the clip and not bore you. And here we are complete. We can either wait five seconds or hit any key. And we're back at the menu. So all the uh, basic tools, uh, for the operating system have been installed. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and get the uh, development tools and installed that'll be required to uh, basically uh, compile Snort um, and anything else that we need to use on the machine. So let's go ahead and get those going. Okay, and here we are. Those packages have been uh, installed and, and deployed. Uh, next, uh, PHP 7 is a requirement for uh, Anvil. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, do that. And, and uh, for those who have configured PHP 7 on CentOS, it involves adding repositories and doing things of that nature. The script takes care of all that. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, select option number three. And uh, it will take care of doing all of that for us. Okay, and PHP 7 installed and done. And we're going to go ahead and uh, install Nmap. Required tool there for Anvil. And that one's done. Return us back to the menu here. And uh, now we'll just keep working our way through the menu. And uh, next on the list is going to be Apache. And this will both uh, install Apache and configure Apache. And it, uh, it does look like it was already ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and move on to installing Anvil. Here it's now actually running through the Anvil install. Uh, 
setting up the database, creating default users, default licenses. And we're back at the menu. So now Anvil's been uh, completely installed. We're going to go ahead and get Snort installed, option number seven on the CentOSP menu here. This will go ahead and download Snort prerequisites and uh, compile everything and even download and compile or download and install a signature package for us. We can go ahead and quit the CentOSP uh, install script with option number eight. And remember, because uh, the script does disable SE Linux, the system will need a reboot. So we can go ahead and just do that now. Go ahead and log in. From here, let's go ahead and check that uh, SE Linux is disabled. Yep, SE status shows it's disabled. Let's go ahead and get our IP address. Take a look if config. That looks really great. So let's go ahead and test Snort. Make sure uh, Snort is uh, uh, working properly or compiled or installed correctly. So we're going to go ahead and do a Snort I and the interface, which in this case is ENS33. And we can see that, yep, Snort commencing packet processing. So all is good there. From here, we're going to go ahead and uh, get that IP address again. And uh, we'll take a look in our browser up here and see if we can pull the envelope. And as you can see, uh, Anvil's installed. We're going to log in with the default credentials here, which are displayed during the install. In this case, it's admin inspector, S-P-E-C-T-E-R. And uh, here we are. Uh, the Anvil console is installed and functioning. And we're going to go ahead and blow this up a little bit so we can see what it looks like. And the background processors up here are installed. Everything looks like it's functioning.